Are we receiving messages from those of another world? Or is this an elaborate hoax that's being played on all of us? Today on Speaking of Spirits, we discuss crop circles. to Speaking of Spirits, and today we are talking about crop circles, and one of my favorite topics. Mm -hmm. uh, so the whole crop circle thing, do you guys remember the um, M. Night Shyamalan movie? Um, yes. Which one was, that was the one with the water and the aliens, right? That yeah. movie traumatized Well, it me. was filmed just a few miles from my house in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Yeah. No. So the, yeah. Oh so the God. whole thing about crop circles and stuff that goes on in the corn, right? Even before with Stephen King's Children in the Corn, yeah, it's no. kind of creepy. That stuff scared me when I was little. That movie traumatized I me. I love that movie. Oh it's awesome. my God. I probably couldn't even watch it as an adult. I'm that traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> Many people believe that crop circles have been reported for centuries, but their primary piece of evidence is a woodcut from 1678. That appears to show a field of oat, oat, oat stalks laid out in a circle. Um, this was according to the Independent. Some take this to be first-hand eyewitness account of a crop circle, but little historical investigation shows otherwise. I um, think most of the crop circles, what was it, 1980s? 1970s? They were all over the Squire like then. <laughs> yes. So in, in July 1996, according to Harry Illenstein's Crop Circles for Beginners, <laughs> um, one of the world's most complex and spectacular crop circles appeared in England across a highway from a mysterious and the world famous Stonehenge mm -hmm. monument, which is in the Wiltshire countryside. It was an astonishing fractal pattern called a Julius set. And while some simple or rough circles may be explained away as a result of a strange weather phenomenon, this one unmistakably demonstrated intelligence. I mean, it was really complex, and I remember it. It was, yeah. to this day, you can see it online. It's, yeah, it's Wasn't that the one where it was weaved? Mm, I don't, it was just a, if you, if you Google the Julius set, you'll see the, the pattern. I just it's, found a picture it, of it, yeah. It's fascinating. Okay. Yeah. The only question is to whether the intelligence was terrestrial or extraterrestrial. According to the National Geographic, crop circle enthusiasts have come up with many theories about what creates the patterns, ranging from the plausible to the absurd. One explanation in vogue in the early 80s was that the mysterious circle patterns were accidentally produced by a... Sp <laughs> By especially vigorous sex, <laughs> sexual activity of he horny hedgehogs. I, I can't even say that with a spring. They called him Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Some people have suggested that circles are somewhat created by localized and precise wind patterns or by scientifically undetectable earth energy fields and meridians called ley lines. I can't even handle the, the <laughs> wind theory either. It's just like, yeah, it just affected this one well, part Well, that's of the... because we live in Idaho. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the whole crop you know, would be flat. Yeah, right? That's true. Okay. Others, such as molecular biologist Horace Drew, suggest that answers lie instead in time travel or alien life. 
according to the New Zealand New Zealand Herald. Um, <laughs> he theorizes that patterns could be made by human time travelers from the distant future to help them navigate our planet. Hmm. So he's working on the assumption that designs are intended as messages, and he believes he has decoded uh, crop circles, symbols, and what they contain. And he believes some of the messages say, believe. Believe? Believe. Like, I believe the truth is out there. Like, believe. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I think my brain shut off. So in the crop circle, it is says... Is a message. Believe. Aww. Like, it's a, de- it's a coded message, and he's decoded it. Oh, and it just has to say believe. Believe. Got it. Got right. it? Okay. <laughs> huh. Uh, anyway, I, I'm, I'm not sure about that, but, it, yeah, but okay, okay, to each their own. A crop circle, a crop formation, or a corn circle is a pattern caused by the flattening of a crop, Right. And so they've shown that you can do it with just with, a string and a board. I was just going to say, now they have the artists that go out and do it. Mm-hmm. And it's a big thing. But what was you're interesting on some of the earlier crop circles, and remember reading this in the Inquirer mm-hmm. hmm. when they first came out. Right. Because um, that was our Saturday paper. We always got it. Oh, at the grocery okay. store. And because they always had the spooky ghost stories, and that was where I had it first. But... Some of the crop circles didn't have, and and I guess still today they can do it, right? But if they're careful, there were no footprints, to or no from. breakage of any stalks leading into the circle. Yes, that's and what's that's what crazy was weird. Yeah, that's what's wild to me. How or even if you are with a board and a laser, now they have little lasers, whatever. But still, like if you've ever seen how thick, especially like wheat and stuff is, even if you flatten it. Where are your feet? Right. Right. And so there was no, like, pathway leading into the circles. Yeah. So when you're walking, because they're growing wheat right across from my house right now, right across from the driveway. If you walk through it, you leave yeah. an imprint. I mean, you break the wheat as you're walking. Yeah, it's not. Because I watch the guys when they're moving irrigation lines every day. Yeah. And so most of the time they're pretty careful about walking the same How path. How they walk, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you break the leaf. Now, and there were earlier crop circles that had a, some scientific anomaly. There was changes to the broken weed. <gasps> uh-uh. That wasn't in the oil. resulting, like, the wheat that was left... Uh, oh, undisturbed. Oh, gotcha. I see what you're saying. To the wheat that was, so disturbed. they took samples yeah. and they started testing them for all kinds of stuff. And some of the crop circles, not all of them, but some of the crop circles, the wheat that was in the center of the circle that had been broken off had minute differences in the wheat structure and in the wheat itself that the remaining wheat didn't, didn't have. have. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. I know they're seeing in some of them, some of the changes in soil. There's a lady that studies the soil. What's her name? Monique Klinkenberg takes... Um, <laughs> French and German. They go really, really well. Klinkenberg, <laughs> yes. She takes the soil samples from crop circles um, in England. They're really, you know, the mm-hmm. areas around Stonehenge and mm-hmm. all of those places. And, yeah. Did they says, find some anomalies? She says it's a little too... It, it's too soon to say definitively either way. They haven't had enough samples, and it's, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. it's easy to skew the data right now, so. Yeah. But she says right now, I mean, good news, I guess, if you're a believer in, like, the extraterrestrial theory is that there's nothing disproving mm-hmm. that it's not people. So it's very interesting, and I didn't know either. Like, to me, when I think crop circle, I think, like, aliens like ufos mm-hmm. but i guess in england there's a big like they call them crappies mm-hmm. and <laughs> yeah the people mm-hmm. that go out and use the crop circle just like they use stonehenge and there's been you know they claim that you can feel the energy inside the crop circle and even physically in your hands if you get down close to the ground your hands tingle and change colors and i don't know Really? That's very, yeah, that's very interesting to is me. Is that recent? Yeah, these crappies, this hmm. is from 
and it's National Geographic, okay? It's not anything hokey. Yeah, this is from 2018. So, well, yeah. So are they making the circles? No, 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 no. These, these are, are finding these them. These are ones that, so it's interesting because there's this article on National Geographic, and part of it is, like, the crappies versus the hoaxers. And also it interviews, like, the artists. And the artists are like, don't trust us. Like, if we do a crop circle, you're going to know about it because we want credit for our work. We do this beautiful work. It's an artist thing. Like, you're going to know it's us kind of thing. And so these are, like, unclaimed. Scan the QR code. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. Literally. Well, yeah. The, so. The, okay. So if it's these guys going out and doing it, I hope they have permission because you are – Ruining a portion of somebody's feet. Yeah, too. I think They're it's crop. just like graffiti, though. But so it, Banksy, yeah. you don't know who it is, but you know it's Banksy. Yeah, it's yeah. It's kind of the same thing. Yeah. Apparently, I didn't know that was a thing. It's kind of an odd hobby to me. But yes, um, one of these crappies um, named Carter says that we lowered ourselves down while touching our hands together in the middle of this crop circle. We could see our hands turn white with red blotches and the ends of our fingers tingled. To me, that sounds like allergies. That's literally what would happen to my hands. I was going to say, EpiPen. <laughs> EpiPen. <laughs> they lower themselves. So they lower because they, st- they perform rituals. It's just like Stonehenge. Okay. You know, during the right. solstice, you can go. They do it in these crop circles. Okay. Um, so they stood in it. They stand in a circle. We lowered our hands down while touching our hands together. Oh, down oh, down to the flattened mm-hmm. ground. We could see our hands turn white with red blotches and the ends of our fingers tingled. But they're not like this. They're lowering their whole bodies, so it's not like a blood rush. When we came up together, our hands returned to normal. We went down again, and the same thing reoccurred. And it says people experience, like, physical tingling and make you feel the energy. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. But that's what these crappies <laughs> say. Crappies. So Crappy. it's very interesting. It's a big thing, I guess. There's big rituals that happen, and I didn't know that. I just mm. thought, to me, I stay away from a crop circle. It cre- they creep me out. <laughs> they do. I'll take a ghost, and, like, UFOs are interesting, but I don't want to actually see any kind of spaceship. Mm-hmm. I don't want to <laughs> see a cow get abducted. I'm good. Apparently, I don't either. Like, You're like... I was all ready to go. Can't, can't even handle it. All of a sudden, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Oh. So in most of my crop circle research, uh, most of the ones that I was able to dig into were debunked in one sort of realm or another. Okay. Uh, the thing that I found suspicious is a lot of them, they claimed that they were weaved together. So I want to see those. Yeah. And so... Like, I was, I fell down a rabbit hole of someone who really likes crop circles. A crappie. Uh, a crappie. <laughs> a crappie. I, I didn't know that was the term, but apparently that's now what it is. Now you know. And so he did the board thing with the string. Yeah. And they did a cool little design thing. And I said, well, that's really cool. And then they showed the picture, and it was just a flattened crop. And then they showed a picture of the crop circle that he was talking about. Yeah. And it was intricately weaved. How does that even happen? And mm-hmm. I feel like because they always say like crop circles appear overnight, I just feel like there's not enough hours in the night for a person. Yeah. Well, well unless you weaved it and then peoples. flattened it. Yeah. I, oh. No one knows how they did it. Hmm. Well, these two yeah. hoaxers, so in in the UK, Doug Bauer and Dave Chorley, they they took credit for having created many of the circles throughout England. After one of their circles were described by an investigator as impossible for human beings to make. Oh, so no. after an investigator says, there's no way. This is human. They went, yep, it's us. Yeah. So it kind of reminds me, if you I guys have that. not That's seen, it, uh, th- there's a, it's only on for three seasons. And I wish it was on for like a hundred. It's called The Detectorists. And it's a show set in England oh, about that. these metal detectors, this metal detector group. Oh. And how they're always trying to find already. like the elusive gold and stuff. Yeah, from, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's hilarious. <gasps> so that's kind of the detectorists. It's on the oh. Acorn channel. I subscribe to that. And it is hysterically funny. But that's what like these two guys remind me of these two guys that play the leads on the detectorists because what a great sense of humor they had to go out and yes. do this. Yes. But nearly half of the crop circles 
um, what's that? It's Toby Jones. I love Toby Jones. Oh my God, it's the best ever. So, what, or where was I going? I just lost my train of thought. So, these are the guys that came out in 1991. But that doesn't explain. So, I guess they modeled their first crop circle design off of one in um, Australia. Oh, I, I think I it started that. in Australia and then just yeah. kind of took off. So, but not so not every crop circle has somebody who's claimed to have made it. Right. And there's where's okay, are they all are are, are the ones who don't have somebody who come out and said, "Yeah, yeah, it's me" because they don't want to get in trouble for trespassing. Fair, or, totally fair. Or were the first crop circles that popped up in the on in the UK or in the Australia without a human did they did they not get made by a human and yeah, then somebody said, Oh, that's cool, let's do that. Yeah. I don't exactly, know. Exactly. But what's fascinating to me is the fact that there were those early and I wish I could find the early scientific study that showed that anomaly, that difference between the texture of the veg the vegetation in the circle and out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because what tech what would have done that? Yeah, they and thought it was time. heat. Yeah, at they that thought time, it was heat, though. like a heat. Yeah. yeah, and that would not have happened back in that time. So that, that same rabbit hole that I was talking about, how he kind of finished it, this crappie guy. Oh, yes. That new term that I really crappie. <laughs> he said that there's a whole lot of misinformation, period. And the best way there. to turn everybody off is to say, look, we've proved that this is a hoax. And then all of a sudden everybody turns off. All that. Whoa, just like with the UFOs with yeah. the military. Oh, yeah, they're not true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nothing mm-hmm. to see here, folks. Just this last year, what happens? Right. And so <laughs> the other thing that he brought up near the end was perhaps this was a thing that that humans knew how to do, and that it went through family traditions, and that's how humans knew how to do it. But that's how they were communicating with something that was above. Right, because to me, it reminds me of like you know, like the Inca lines, the Incan lines. Mm-hmm. It's like obviously that was a great feat to do that anyway especially at that time but it's like who and why would you have to, you can't enjoy it so why oh right because you'd have to be buried, such at a high elevation yeah, and there's to look n- at it nothing high enough for a human to like stand on in that area so it, mm-hmm. i mean I, I can totally understand that and see that but it's like was it a religious thing where it's like this is for the gods was it like communicating it opens up more That's questions true. for that me. That is true. You know, because like, it just opens up more. As a farmer, traditionally, you're you're growing your field on somewhat level or just slightly rolling ground. It's not very right. steep. Mm-hmm. So how would you notice there was a crop circle to begin with? Oh, exactly. I've wondered that. It's like how... Because we didn't have drones... Yeah, exactly. So was it a flying air, was a air, was it aircraft? And somebody said, "Wow, that's cool," and started buzzing the fields. And yeah. I, I don't know, because obviously question. the pictures are taken from aircraft. But what, how was right. the first crop circle found? Yeah. Had to have been from aircraft, right? So yeah, or again, yeah, was it just something like the Incan lines that people just did? But again, why? Especially if that's your food source, mm-hmm. why would you just be like? We just spent all this time and resources to plant this extra food. Right, to and then just, now we flatten it. Yeah, to flatten it, unless it's very significant to you. During the 1960s, there were many reports of UFO sightings and circular formations in swamp reeds and sugarcane fields in Tully, Queensland, Australia. I had no idea they grew sugarcane in Australia. Now I do. Huh. They also grow really big spiders. Oh, and God. And almost everything in Australia. in Australia is venomous, so I'm not going. No, thanks. For example, on 8 August 1967, three circles were found in the in a field in Dun, du, Duhamel, Tahamel, Alberta, Canada. Hmm. The Department of National Defense investigators concluded that it was artificial, but couldn't say who made it or how. <laughs> The most fa- yeah. go figure. Yes, go figure. But it was artificial. It was artificial. <laughs> the most famous case is the 1966 Tully saucer nest, when a farmer said he witnessed a saucer-shaped craft rise 30 or 40 feet from a swamp and then fly away. On investigating, he found a nearly circular area 32 feet long by 25 feet wide, 
where the grass head was flattened in a clockwise curves to water level within the circle. Oh. Can I interrupt you right there? Hmm. So we do a couple podcasts at a time for reference for our listeners. And we just got through with the Skinwalker one. Yeah. Where we talked a lot about clockwise things in different traditions. Clockwise. clockwise Whilst I'm looking at this one and noticing oh. that it's clockwise. Clockwise. That's fascinating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Co- we don't believe in coincidences mm-hmm. here. So. Huh. <clears throat> so this clockwise curved circle that was flattened where he saw a UFO, the reeds had been uprooted from the mud. What? Right. So it wasn't just bent over. The so it wasn't were like it like up. landed it swampy, and then took it's like off. a corkscrewed something up, right? The local police officer, the Royal Australian Air Force, and the University of Queensland concluded that it was most probably caused by natural causes like a downdraft or a willy nilly, which is a dust devil in Australia, or a water spout. <laughs> I didn't know they, that was called a willy nilly. What is yeah. happening down in that place? I, I know, just right? can't. I uh, just can't. So, know. There, uh, a journalist wrote that the saucer was probably debris lifted by c- the causing willy nilly. Willy, yeah. willy. In a perfect. A willy, willy. Willy, willy. I misspoke. It's a willy, willy. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> so, I, I, I don't know. That's. You know, okay, so tornadoes, think about tornadoes. When tornadoes are rotating, they're churning up the ground. Yeah. They're churning up the ground. So I could but, see a dust devil, but in but one, it does, yeah, it's exactly. moving forward. I was just going to say, even if the ground only, it touched down in that one area, it picks up stuff All around, around it. it. And right. And doesn't gently just set it back down. Inside the circle. Inside the circle. How convenient. Mm -hmm. And a perfect clockwise motion. Since becoming the focus of widespread media attention in the 1980s, crop circles have become the subject of speculation by various paranormal, ufological, and and anomalistic? What's an anomalistic investigator? I don't anomalies. Know, but sign me up. For I know that. you're yeah. investigating anomalies. I guess anomalistic investigators, ranging from proposals that they were created by bizarre meteorological phenomenon to messages from extraterrestrial beings. Do you think there's a technical certificate for that? I don't know. <laughs> we can make one and charge a lot of money for it. Yes. <laughs> In this economy. Yes. I just have, okay. So I, I don't like dissing other paranormal groups or really don't because it's do you have you know, a bone to pick but i love it i'm here for there it. is a paranormal group <laughs> somewhat there no okay i'm just gonna say it's local and oh, uh Lord. <laughs> they wanted to do a paranormal course in which people paid quite a lot of money <gasps> to become paranormal investigators and then they would like graduate <laughs> and i said so um, what? I, yeah. Anyway, I thought, okay. Is this accredited? Yeah. Well, that's say, what I said. Where is that's it just an inkjet printer for $250 a pop, basically. And, and if you're out there listening in podcast land, please don't pay for stuff like this. Yeah. Really, no. really don't. Really don't. It does not come it's from not, a good place. Mm-hmm. That is not coming from the good place. They're not teaching you thing. You need to be working with the group to do this kind yeah. of stuff. <laughs> You need to be working with a mentor, a group, a medium, somebody who has knowledge, who does this stuff constantly. Don't just send away $250 to a paranormal group who's going to give you an inkjet certificate. Yeah, do you think it was like a one-day thing and like hopefully they provided lunch? Like what was the process I don't know, for this? but I was shot them homework? down all over the place and told them what I thought. Anyway, so... <clears throat> It's Some paranormal advocates think crop circles are caused by ball lightning because some of the patterns are so complex and they have to be controlled by some entity. Ball lightning? As somebody who has witnessed ball lightning firsthand. What is that? It is terrifying. <gasps> really? Yes. I was seven-ish was... with my grandmother in her... She lived in an apartment. In and... California? Or? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and w- <laughs> I will never forget this as long as I live. I will never forget this. We were in her kitchen, and 
there was a horrible electrical storm going on out, which was not normal for where we lived. And we hear sizzling. And oh. grandma, she always, always like, if there's thunder within 50 miles, you never take a shower because it'll get you, you know, because <laughs> okay, it'll come yeah. through the pipes, right? <laughs> and you always, 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 because this is when you had landline phones, you didn't have cell phones, yeah, right? Yeah. You never talked on the phone because yeah. there were people who were getting, they'd get, yeah, like burned. Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so it was always like, you unplugged everything. Grandma was always, oh my God, we got to unplug everything. So we're sitting in the kitchen and just waiting for the storm to go by and we hear this sizzling. And it coming from her bedroom. And so we kind of ran around the, the, the wall to her bedroom door and we could see ball lightning come through the wall. We could hear it crackling first. And then it comes through the wall and comes through the space, through her bedroom, goes through the wall, through the kitchen. We're running after it. And this is like fascinating. It was a ball, like a basketball sized lightning. What? And then it went through her living room and out of the apartment. Did it burn? Yes. Was there like burn marks? Yes. Because she called the landlord. She's like, you're not going to believe this. And we <laughs> were just like, oh my back. gosh, what was that? Yeah. And the landlord's, he looked, he's like, he couldn't believe it either. But it turned, it was ball lightning. What? So I don't see, but it was moving. But wouldn't it burn horizontal? the crop circle? If That's what I would think. Because if it burnt the walls. Ball lightning is moving like horizontal to the land. I don't, you would have to like come straight down. Which I could see in a freak accident, but wouldn't it leave a like, scorch mark? mark? Yeah, yeah, I would think. Or start a fire. Yeah. Because wheat, I mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so maybe. Many new age groups incorporate cross circles into their belief systems, which is what you're talking about. Yeah. So where were we? Okay. Uh, some proposed entities are asking. Oh, <laughs> God, I'm sorry, but okay, we deal in the paranormal, but some of this shit is really out there. They're like asking the crop circles to heal global warming. Okay, so uh, here's uh, that. Apparently, it worked this, this year. This crop circle <laughs> literally. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god! I, I know can't. it's supposed to be like thirty-eight degrees tomorrow night, and no, as we're recording really? this, what is the day? Uh, what is our date? June twelfth. Twelfth. And it's like going to be like almost freezing tomorrow it's night, cold. and Rained all day. the next two days are supposed to be like a high of fifty-seven-ish. But two days yesterday was what eighty-nine? Yeah, that's oh, fine. Okay, yeah. everything's fine. Yeah, everything's normal. <laughs> but that was one of three days this year that it's been above seventy. Oh yeah. Oh, I know. It's just been ridiculously cold. It's true. <clears throat> anyway, there. so a small number of scientists have found differences between the crops inside the circles and outside, like I was talking about. There's this guy, uh, Loving Good, published papers in Physiologia Planetarium in 1994. <laughs> Seriously, this is the name of this what? publication. It literally sounds like you're trying to cast a spell right now. <laughs> <laughs> like it's that, not going. That horn well. demon's coming in. in a 19... lot of syllables. <laughs> yeah, Mark oh needs God. to be here just to like exercise us from this. Book. In oh 1994 paper, oh. he he said that certain deformities in the grain, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. And see, inside the circles were correlated to the position of the grain. Okay, wait, what did he just say? In his 1994 paper, he found that certain deformities in the grain inside the circles were correlated to the position of the grain inside the circle. Okay, I get that. In 19, do you understand? So like no. the what? grain, let's say the grain within the first six inches circumference is going to uh -huh. be different than the grain in the 12 inch circumference is going to be different than the grain in the 18 inch circumference. Oh, oh, oh. So it's position oh. within the circle dictated the differences it's in like the grain. concentric almost. Yeah. Almost, yeah. Okay. That's, okay. That's interesting. That's very But then there was another guy who said, no, nah, that's all bunk this. So, you know. Or I wonder are. if that could be recreated just by flattening grain with boards. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like, how? I, I don't. I guess that's why all the smarty pants people that use lots of syllables in their words. <laughs> and uh, who published say, in the Physiologia Plantarium. Yeah, those yeah. syllables right there. <laughs> that uh, they cannot... Uh, 
prove, and they cannot disprove. Come well, Lord. this one guy is like, until you do independently replicated by quali- qualified scientists doing double-blind studies, otherwise following a stringent scientific protocol, you can't take any of this seriously. And then it all depends on who funds it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> exactly. You always have to look at where the money's coming from. Because uh, it turns out those people who use lots of syllables really like to eat, too. Yeah. Weird and how they that eat well. works out. Yeah. yeah, they do. In 2000, Colin Andrews, who had researched crop circles for 17 years, stated he believed that 80% were man-made. He thought the remaining circles with less elaborate designs yes. could be explained by a three degree shift in the earth's magnetic field what he really had me going there for a minute now that is kind of (laughs) crazy you know what i'm saying i was like it makes sense because you see crop circles in the shape of like a heart i'm like obviously it creates a current that electrocutes the crops causing them to flatten and form a circle but why executes the crops so this is a, wouldn't just see... colin andrews i don't know anything about him there's n- no string of letters behind his name so i don't know wouldn't you see like f- something physical if it was electrocuted like but maybe that's what the what that guy found that one researcher and then the other guy oh. said it's all bunkus so maybe he found those w- those anomalies mm. it all comes down to ley lines where are these crop see? circles exactly it really is yeah it's like the I really want to do a crop circle out here, I'm just saying. I think it would be so so much fun for us to do that. And then we'll publish it. And Idaho State Journal can just run with it. And then, oh my God, how much fun could we have? We could have so much fun. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. If you're listening, don't tell anyone this is is our plan. We need to figure out bail money first. (laughs) That's fair. So you listeners, if you think that's a great idea, we, my Venmo. Yeah, I was going to say, we have a GoFundMe. Yes. So I I don't know where I kind of stand on this. I was going to say, I feel like the stuff that I was reading about, especially the, I didn't know that there were groups of people that did rituals and all of that. Yeah, I feel like my perspective has definitely changed a little bit in hearing the stuff that you said. There's a lot of studies, but none of them seem to be conclusive either no. one way or another. So I'm very glad that busted. everything went the way that it did. Because remember that rabbit hole I was talking about? Right. Yeah. Well, I was going down like six different rabbit holes at one time. <laughs> and they all correlated. Oh. Yeah, so it kind of blew my mind. Hmm. So this energy thing that we talk about. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm really into Tesla. Yeah. Like it yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel that he was given a bad rap by lots of people oh, and he boy. didn't deserve it. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. So wireless energy is a big thing. Mm-hmm. It is a huge thing and it is a natural thing. Mm-hmm. You can pull the energy from the atmosphere. Which blows my mind in general. As a side note, that's nuts. Uh-huh. So you have this energy. Uh-huh. So when you look at a snowflake under a <laughs> microscope You're already, or whatever like, you want to say. You guys say. should see Tim right now. He, <laughs> he is like so into this. talking with his hands, formulating, <laughs> and he's already got me confused. Okay, a snowflake. Have you looked at a snowflake yeah. under? Is it pretty? They're pretty. Has cool patterns. Yeah. Yeah. And they're all different. They're all different. Yeah. Right? Looks kind of nature-y. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> nature-y. Nietzsche? Nature. Uh-huh. Okay. So when you boil down everything and man there's just too much to say but ley lines pyramids natural formations energy Mm -hmm. okay yes i can follow that look up all of those things and you can see how everything kind of correlates and if you uh read much of tesla back in his day there weren't a whole lot of the pyramids around that we know about now. Right. Okay, that's fair. And he foreshadowed that the pyramids were going to be found around the world. <gasps> oh, I did hear something about that. Wait a minute. Were the pyramids, pre- they, did, they predated him. No, but um, they weren't excavated they were... or discovered Oh, yet. I'm like, what yeah. are you talking about, man? No, they didn't discover the most So the of pyramids, until... were the ones in Egypt, have been known for a long time. But oh, like you're the ones in Mexico, the ones across across Mexico the world. Area, even yeah. North America. But mm-hmm. yeah, okay. So he said that they're going to be found, and that's how you transfer the energy. 
So that the pyramids are transferring the energy. That's how they're they. That's how plants. they powered. Oh, things. they're power plants. Yeah, I've yeah. read that. Okay. And when you look at the ley lines, and you look at snowflakes, and you look at some of the patterns given in the crop circles, it's stunning how much they look alike. Hmm. To me, it's like um, what is it called? The theory, the Strength one theory? three. No, no, no. no, no. Chaos oh, theory. Three. Yeah. Three. What? So Tesla was also just an amazing mathematician. Yeah. And it was oh. six three nine? No, one three five. What I'm talking about is like the one three five seven nine thirteen twenty one. You know. The, the law prime? of the What? No, what is it called, you guys? My internet is like not working on my computer. Go figure in this room. Sorry. No, no, no. Like, um, like nature and anatomy always follows. It's a spiral. <gasps> Guys! <laughs> you, she just blew her it's mind. It's a clockwise spiral, too. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Human anatomy, the ratio, the golden ratio. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? No. Da Vinci. Yes, but I think oh. it was like the golden ratio. It's also called something else. But yes, everything. And it's always a, con- a concentric circle. And that's the ratio. <gasps> Damn, you're on to something. <laughs> Welcome to the rabbit hole. <laughs> Colleen, send me a lifesaver so you can pull me back. <laughs> anyway, so all of these things, they all oh. they all have different pieces in it. And when you align it together, God. you just feel like you're being full, fed full of disinformation from the man. Do you ever wonder if it's like that one that one movie with Jim Carrey where he's living his life and then he realizes he's oh, the like Truman the star. Show yes. Mm-hmm. Do you ever wonder if that's us? Because sometimes I feel like that's what we're living. Yeah. And so <laughs> a theory that I've talked yes. about recently was an NPC theory is what they call it. So you know you're you. Uh-huh. That's about it. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So God, here we go. Non playing characters. Are they here in the world? How many are there? Right. It's what like, is it? It's like the grocery thing. Have you ever seen your neighbors bring in their own groceries? Because I haven't. Never once. Exactly. It's because you're the only one bringing in groceries because it's just you. Oh, Very come on, you guys. I don't like this shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't had enough he alcohol for this. He started it. He started it. Uh-huh. Anyway. And it so... all comes from clockwise crop circles, if you were wondering. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Clockwise everything. Yeah. Yes. So. Because this golden ratio is a clockwise circle, you guys. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack. So the my thing, adrenaline. The, the thing, <laughs> the thing that's really cool about the world is, like, we didn't discover mathematics. No, it was already there. It was here. Yes. Yes. I'm a firm believer in that. We don't. We never discovered anything or created anything. We just became aware. We're here for the ride. Yeah, yeah, we are. And people who think that they've di- discovered something or, or, or whatever you want to classify right. there are just full of themselves. Okay. But it is like, does it, it's that idea again, though, if a tree falls in a forest and no one's around to hear it, we, we have this perspective that, like, if we don't know if that little tree frog in the rainforest doesn't exist, and then poof, there it is. Mm-hmm. I can't right now. It's well, too much. And so that's, that's the the position of man right now which hurts my feelings because it feels like we're getting stupider and stupider and stupider you're taking it real personally (laughs) really like when i read online that farmers don't need chickens anymore because you just go to the grocery store to get the eggs yeah it really makes me want to just turn the computer off I, well, just, I do most of the time. Now. Just be done. I honestly, for the last two years, have not watched the news anymore because I can't. And um, I literally, I cannot take how dumb people are. Mm-hmm. I cannot process. No. I, exactly what you're talking about. Or we don't need to kill animals because we can just go to the store and buy meat. Yeah, it's what? Like- what? Do we, uh, who, what, pl- That's are so these people, sad. do we breed people without brain cells? I'm just saying, I, I don't know what's it's happening to the world. It's honestly so sad because we have gotten so far I, away from our truth and from, you know what I'm saying? Well, like, I was listening to a survey on the radio the other day uh-huh. and they polled people on a variety of stuff. 
Oh, God. Specifically on automobiles. I'm in the garage oh. and I'm listening to this. <laughs> oh, no. 30% of the people do not know how to put air in their tires anymore. Mm-hmm. 40% of the people, I think it's what they said, was 40% of the people don't know how to check the oil in their engine. Oh, I, the sad thing is I believe it. What has like, happened? That. And that's just cars. What's happening? So, that's how I ended it. So, with, <laughs> oh, my God. So, who... If you are getting people this disconnected from everything that they need to be yes. connected to, right? Who does it serve? The I don't know. Pa- the That's people what's scary. in power. The people, people in, in pa- power. Guys, Ray Bradbury, Fahrenheit 451. Oh, I know, right? The little seashells that the wife yeah. puts in her ears. Uh, hello, AirPods. Right. You mm-hmm. don't even have to pay attention or acknowledge your own existence because you live in this little world. That's why I'm so glad I disconnect every day and I go out because I have a little farm. You ground, and don't I'm you? out every single day with my animals and have my hands in the dirt growing stuff. And you live and out a little bit. You I can do. actually see the sky and you can see the land around you. Yeah, I have to. I don't feel mm-hmm. like I can breathe if I'm yeah. not out there. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's I don't like... The energy people give off. I don't mm-hmm. like the energy. Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like it. So oh, when when world. it all boils down to it, like all of these things that we we call paranormal, we give names to, whatever mm-hmm. it is, it's amazing how many are really, really connected mm-hmm. and how many things are really, really old and how yeah. many things like are real. Mm. Is Yeah. Is it even paranormal or is it just normal? The ancient, like, mm-hmm. the ancient truth that we have gotten away from. Right. Because we don't go outside. We don't ground. We don't trust our instincts. We're not spiritual. And what we talk about a lot is is the people the people who are in charge right now, the people who win, mm-hmm. are the ones who make the history. Or the ones who make the books. Don't the even get me whatever. started on textbooks, mm-hmm. you guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so I think... It all boils down. Okay, crop circles, yeah, they could be a hoax. Mm-hmm. There and some could, of them are. It, we, yeah, probably a lot of them. Which is fine. But, but so there it's... could be some element of truth to this. There could be yeah. the fact that some of them do show changes. Mm-hmm. And um, nobody Say believe. Yeah. yeah. Well, right. Or even just significant in some way, like literally... Like the Incan lines, maybe that was the way of doing it. They didn't have big crops. They had sand and small crops. And maybe here, right, in dense areas. It's kind of interesting. Think about it. Most of the crop circles in the world are in the UK. Where's most of the spontaneous combustion happen? Freaking UK. UK. Everything happens in the UK. Road trip. <laughs> I know. I'm pretty sure that's why my ancestors said peace out. <laughs> Bye. We can't, out. Hand- <laughs> we can't handle the weird. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So let's just go to California and smoke weed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's, I think that's let's pretty. Go. Yeah, I'm in. Let's go. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Speaking of Spirits and the Weirdness that Surrounds Some Crop Circles. And uh, as always, please give us your five-star rating. I don't care if you say I love bologna sandwiches. Then the review. We just need the rating. That will help drive us up the charts. And I do love bologna sandwiches. I was just going to say, that sounds so good right Especially now. fried bologna. Yeah, yeah. with little American yeah. cheese. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Peace out, everybody. Till next time. You've been listening to Speaking of Spirits, powered by Pocatello Paranormal Research in Pocatello, Idaho. Thank you for joining us today. We're glad you could be here. If you're enjoying the podcast, please do us a favor and go to whatever platform you are listening to the podcast on and give us a review. We prefer the five-star reviews. This helps us know how we're doing, and it helps others to find the podcast. Thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you on our next podcast.